Hello and welcome to the LED segment of the Green RV Project. And one of the things that we're doing in the Green RV Project to be able to extend the amount of time that we have away from uh, shore connection and uh, to use less energy in the RV is to switch the lighting out to LEDs. Now, as you'll see in a minute, we've done a, an interesting test to show the difference between LED lighting and incandescent lighting. Uh, using a DC amp clamp so we can see the difference in amps. Let's take a look at that. One of the most important parts of building a green RV today is the ability to use less energy. And a big piece of that is installing LED lighting. Now, thanks to our friends at Starlights, we're able to replace all the lighting in the coach with LEDs. So in this particular case, we're going to be able to show you exactly how much power you'll be able to save by using LED lights. Now, in order to do this, we've disconnected the solar panels and we've also shut off the external power to the coach so that the True Charge 2 system is turned off so that we uh, are working uh, exactly with batteries that have sat for a period of time without being on charge so that we have a nominal charge rate in the batteries. So let's, we're going to use our meter here and we're going to hook up. I'm going to show you uh, battery voltage before uh, we do our test and I'm going to show you amperage before we do our test and I'm going to go and turn all the incandescent lights on so all the lighting in this coach is incandescent we're going to turn all those lights on we're going to take another voltage and amp reading and then when we get done replacing all the lighting with LEDs then we'll do the test one more time to show you the difference okay so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to turn our meter on to volts DC and we're going to set our range so that we have uh, one decimal place or two decimal places over so it'll be a little bit more precise that way <clears throat> and i have two ports on the back of our power armor solar here that we put in so i'll be actually be able to take the test right from here so we're going to touch on here and we are looking at 12.82 volts dc and that's with no loads on now the propane detectors on and the uh, stereo has its memory and so forth so there's tiny little bits of, uh, of uh, current but nothing that's really readable 12.82 okay so now what I'm going to do is actually pull the leads off of this and we're going to switch this up to amps DC which I will zero so you can see we're really reading basically zero amps DC and we're going to put it on the ba positive battery cable. And as you can see here, we are reading zero amps. So there's currently no battery flow at all. To, on that line. And then we're going to connect over to the second line here. And this one we're reading 0.3. Now we have two battery cables going into this battery box. One is going to the general RV supply and the large one here is going over to our inverter. So I wanted to cover all bases and make sure you understood there is only 0.3 amps currently being drawn in the coach and again that's a uh, propane gas detector and the stereo. So let's turn all the lights on and see what we've got. Okay every light in the coach is on right now so and these are fully charged these are brand new trojan batteries that we have on the coach fully charged so with all the lights on porch light and all the interior lights were down to 12.03 volts when you're going to do an amp reading always remove the probes from the meter and we're going to go up here to amps DC. We'll zero that. We'll test the large line. It's actually showing zero, negative 0 0.1 amps on the uh, inverter line. And again, that's within the margin of error for the machine, for the error for this. And for our main line, which is providing power for all the lights, we're uh, at 39.4 amps. 39.4 amps with all the lights on. Okay, now that we're b back and you've seen that the incandescent lights on the coach, uh, all of the, the lighting in general, 
uses 39 amps or a little over 39 amps that's a lot of power so we want to switch these out now um, we have a number of products here from Starlights Incorporated I like their products particularly because they're so uh, user friendly and have so many different options to them Starlight's LED lighting is available in a number of designs for both interior and exterior lighting. Their interior lighting units have add-on features like motion and light sensors, dimmers, power plugs for bunk lighting, and small night lights, which are very useful. The company's exterior lighting features both motion and light detection, making the unit fully automatic with a multicolor indicator which tells what mode the light is in and what the battery condition of the coach is. So now that we've gone through the different kind of lights, we're going to install all these products on the coach here, and then we're going to see what our power savings is really all about. Switching out the fixtures is pretty easy. Just follow the instructions and proper wiring practices. Make certain the new fixture is connected correctly as these LEDs are polarity sensitive. The new holes for the old fixtures probably won't line up, but that's okay. Just screw the new fixture in place using the old screws. In some cases, you may have to cut a slightly larger hole for the wiring to line up properly, but can usually be done with a utility knife. Okay, so now we have all the lights on inside the coach. And the porch light on the side, all in LED. And let's see what we're running for volts now. 12.42 volts, 12.42 volts. And we'll pull these off. And put our amp clamp on here. We are reading five amps with all the lights on, five amps. That's impressive. So what does this all mean? While it's unlikely that you'd have all the lights on in the coach at the same time, we use it here as an example. We talked about amp hours in an earlier episode. Also, we know that it's not good to run a flooded battery down past 50%. So with our standard incandescent lighting, we're drawing 39 amps. With our Trojan T105 6-volt batteries, we have 225 amp hours at 20 hours per bank. Calculating this out, we would be able to have the lights on for 2.9 hours. After the change to our LED lighting, we're only drawing 5 amps with all the lights on. So we would be able to have the lights on for 22 and a half hours. That's almost eight times the amount of battery time with the LEDs versus the incandescents. This leaves a substantial amount of capacity in the batteries for other loads like the inverter or furnace. For more information on the LED lighting we installed here, visit Starlights at www.starlightsinc.com. All the products used in this video are available from your favorite RV retailer or on Amazon.com and the links are provided in the description of this YouTube video.